We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about... I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your orders, sir. Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the game. Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back.
Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. No, sir. I'll follow your lead. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them! Oh no, we're too late! We have the civilians. There is still no sign of the Renown or the Kittimer, sir.
apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? I apologize for Coles putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is, was, a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Press the Options button and open your inventory under the Ship and Crew heading. Select the kit in your inventory to equip it. With a kit equipped, you will have new abilities that you can perform in ground combat. You additional abilities in ground combat. We have lowered shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of Borg ships. Sensors are working. Not a moment too soon. I can hear the board moving this way. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Concentrate fire on the board. We need to keep them away from the civilians. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. back up, sir, but more board vessels are warping to our location. We have detected a type of generator near your position. There is a 94.6% chance it is the device affecting our transporters. If you can destroy it, we will transport as many people from the area as we are able. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. All right, Coles, you're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. I know the drill. I just never expected any Borg here.
knew that one. We played poker last night. We need to disable that force field. The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. The Borg are so, what's the word? Effective, systematic, evil. I'm gonna go with evil. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed, so we can't reach the Renown or the Kittimer. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the board like us hanging around. Never thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. ships on sensors. No way to contact them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe.
Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. All my forms will be assimilated. A cube? <laughs> Guess it's our time to go out in the blaze of glory. what we could at Pollux and sent a signal out to Starfleet. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. You've been doing a great job so far. Reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons was excellent thinking, by the way. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. That's going to save a lot of lives. It's an option for sure. Right now, I need you to protect the civilians you have on board and ensure the safety of your crew. The Kittimer will return to Earth space dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He'll have more information for you. You and your crew have done well. Colas will make a fine addition to your senior staff. Congratulations. Captain Mola told us to get to Earth. Captain Volok told us to get to Earth's space dock, and I think he's right. We need to get the civilians to safety, and I don't think I can handle any more excitement. have a lot to discuss, Cadet. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Nog. He granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Acting First Officer? I've read the reports. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. <laughs> That's quite the story. 
Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Nog and Yim and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. Captain Taggart was a good man and a fine officer. He knew what he was doing when he issued that order. Don't dwell on what happened. Your actions saved the lives of your crew, not to mention the civilians you were able to evacuate from Vega Colony. Now it's up to you and your crew to honor Taggart's sacrifice as you carve out your own legacy. Do you have any further questions? Unfortunately, Vega is lost. Starfleet Command will meet with Federation President Enoch Okeg and the Federation Council to determine our next steps. For now, Starfleet vessels will patrol the outskirts of the Vega system to ensure no Borg escape. Do you have any further questions? You will be assigned to the Klingon front, but first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. We have a diplomatic mission. 